Hi guys, it's Gamer Dad here, back with another FIFA 22 Creator Club career video with the Bears. And as uh, you lot, you guys know, I've been off recently. I've not been doing any uh, uploads because I've been in hospital, not been too well. But I sort of back up a little bit now and sort of resting a bit. But just decided to do some videos. Feel good enough for that now. Um, also, since I've been off, I have uh, had a new camera border made, which you can see here, obviously. Made by Nautical Noe, who's been doing all the stuff on my channel. So big thanks and a big shout out to him. His description's down below. And also, I have now been uh, got monetized by YouTube. So now um, I do make money off the videos. If you guys do watch the ads and stuff, so I'd really appreciate if you could watch them. It helps the channel grow and uh, it helps uh, me put some more money back into it. Also, I've started up merchandise with uh, a lot of the Game of Dad stuff which is also linked in the channel so if you guys want to have a look at that I've got a few things turning up for you uh, to have a look at and see what you think and also started up a membership which um, for the channel which you guys will get some uh, like uh, subscriber badges and emojis which uh, I've done a few interesting ones one of the club badge of the Bears one of Costias obviously I had to obviously my badge and um, one of, of fire uh, but I have got Nautical Noe making me uh, he's going to be making me some up so we'll uh, update them when they get done but thank you guys anyway right as I start this all thanks for all the support uh, since I've been in the hospital and all the good nice kind words I do really really appreciate it and I do appreciate all the support on the channel so far over, obviously over a thousand subscribers nearly 1100 subscribers all the views and the likes and the good comments so thank you so much for that I do really appreciate it and if you guys do like this video please hit a like down below and subscribe to the channel and check out my discord which is in the descriptions down below and check out all the other stuff I said before but getting on to that let's get into the video and I have just made a big sign which you guys might have just seen pop up there was thinking about making a key signing like a marquee signing with my money and as you can see here I have got I have gone ahead and bought Xavi Simmons from PSG on his release clause of 4.950 I had like nearly 19 million to spend and I think that is a massive marquee signing to make in the midfield strength was up massively and obviously in-game face looks brilliant and I think he looked well good in there but we have a game against Brighton the first game here in the Carabao Cup which I would like to try and win and get further on so let's get into that and see how we get on obviously starting with the first team Costia is a bit tired but I need him up front really back five which is never easy to get him again so let's get into it and see how we get on Obviously, do have Butterworth to come off the bench if I need him for the second half, which will be a useful little one. And here we are, getting into this one, guys. Ooh, that stadium, the Amex Stadium looks brilliant, absolutely brilliant in here. Must say, they've done a good job of that. And here is the team. Marin now uh, is the captain. He's taken over because obviously Gabby uh, Simmons starting in the midfield but okay let's get over into this and we have kickoff and it's the Bears let's go That's still in the Premier League I'm not sure they're rather in the champ or the Premier League obviously a team that's a lot better than us oh big big save there massive save by Costa let's try and defend this obviously not played FIFA for a little bit so bit rusty not an easy game to come back into oh another big save these obviously these guys are going to have a lot of attempts I would imagine being a, a side that's obviously a lot better than we are oh that's a poor touch there and that's an awful awful oh it's time to Johnson up to Marin Oh, nice pull. And we conceded there. Absolutely done, I said, Mope. We're 1 0 down just a half time. We've not been too bad. They've been all over us a bit. 
we'd have no chances. And they have put the first shot in. It's tough. Like, it's just poor. Jumped in there and he's just done us. Absolutely done us there. 1-0, uh, let's see if we can get back into it at uh, half-time. Let's see if we can get back into this game and uh, see what we can do. It's going to be a big ask against this team, but you never know. Okay, second half, guys. Let's see if we can get back into this uh, Carabao Cup game against Brighton. That is awful. What was that? Oh, what a save. That should not have happened. Should not have got through there. We have got so unlucky with some of these referee decisions. Oh, now a massive save. What is this? Simmons does well. Gets the ball out now. Now we're on the run. Butterworth. Sees the ball through. Oh, does well. He's going to be offside. Oh. Now, nick the ball. Through to Abbe. Abbe now. Abbe. Cuts it back. Oh, what a save. 86th minute. I was sure that was a goal. Let me get this onto Art's head. He's there. Oh, it's another. It's got to be another one there. Plays it into Abbe. Marin. Oh, and that is the final whistle and we lose 1 0. We did not do ourselves any any harm there. It's a shame. Big, big, big uh, result there for uh, Brighton, but we uh, definitely put our most into that game and we've got to be proud of that only losing one nil not too bad at all they uh, definitely were the better side but we definitely had our chances and uh, can't to be too disappointed in that we're still only a league one side so did okay building a big squad here and we can compete against some of these bigger sides so okay guys so after that uh, defeat in the cup we have a few more games uh, obviously, I'm going to sim a few more. going to sim the, this game and probably this cup game in the Papa John's Trophy. I'm not really too fussed about it. Sim the Oxford game. Possibly play the Burton game. And definitely going to play the whole game. So it's going to be between this game or this game I'm going to play. Sort of would like to play against the MK Don since there is that is the team I support, but maybe we will sim that one. We will definitely end it somewhere along here. Um, obviously, away simming is not the best, so want to uh, try and avoid that one. And then we'll be into the next month, which got a couple of big games in that one, especially against Wigan in the league. So let's get into these first and see what we can get done. Swindon first, bottom of the table. Team's looking nice and fresh. Kind of do a quick sim, and we're going to get a 2 1 win. Get in there. Carvalho and Abbe, that's what we'd like to see. Big, big result there. Love it. And I might use my reserve team here to sim again in the cup against Wigan. We have a Lawton offer here, which I'm not too. I will probably just accept to be honest because he doesn't have a, much of a future here I don't think now with everyone else coming in so I'll let him go and play some football at Bradford hopefully and okay the Papa Jones trophy is certainly not too fast unless we get to a final so we'll get into that one play the we will play this team they need to get a bit of um, match fitness and get a games so play them in this cup should be a good one and we get Oh, 2-1 win. Well on the boys. Pantino and uh, Dembele coming off the bench for Butterworth getting the goal. That's good. Pleased to see. Very, very good to see that uh, the reserve team can step up and get a decent result against a good weekend side. And we're in transfer deadline day now, which I'm not expecting anything crazy to happen. Not looking at making any major more signings until uh, later on. want to keep a bit of a... Uh, 
wage budget really for any pre-contract signings possibly in January or um, signings then and to you know sort of update people's contracts keep them happy so let's try and get through this and I will see you at the end if uh, nothing happens and here you go guys the last hour of the transfer deadline and nothing major happened for us on deadline day we did all our business before got them in nice and early so very happy the way that went and we have a youth monthly squad report here obviously we still got a couple of decent players in here like cooper who's growing very nicely nearly up to 70 only 15 so uh give him a bit of time okay guys going into the end of the transfer deadline and getting into this i have now just sold austin well a greeted fee of 2.5 million for him uh to go across to Blackburn Rovers and you'll see why 30 years old did very well last season but he's not the future here obviously trying to build a new young squad also had a international uh, job offer from New Zealand I'd like to do a little bit of uh, international thing if you guys can let me know down below what you think about doing that maybe if England don't call enough would like to have a go at that but for now New Zealand and nah, that definitely not that but definitely let me know down below if you think I should do some international management and you will see why after transfer deadline I had a free agent pop up which looks very good for the squad and we have Arthur here very very good in defence have that physical 80 defending 71 dribbling 73 not the fastest but do feel he can do a job in that CDM position Okay guys, so we're getting to this next game. Have to take Kostias out because he's on international duty, but the team's looking nice and fit. Another quick team against Oxford who are nearer the bottom of the table. What can we get here? Well, I mean, they have a big result. And we get two on them. Get in there. Abbey and Butterworth. Butterworth doing well coming off, uh, coming in instead of Kostias, so that is good to see as well. Um, the basically substitute stepping up in his first game. Okay guys, the next game we're going to get into is this one against Burton who are in 7th looking pretty decent that's the asset of goal scorer so let's get into this one we can play this game without obviously Kostias who is on international duty which is nice to see uh, but I'm also debating do I bring out Doyle for this game he's looking a little bit tired and bringing in yeah bring these guy and he's actually higher rated let's bring him in see how he gets on and other than that team's not looking too bad really let's do this little swap and see how we get on you notice he has gone up in his rating above uh, Doyle which is a big one to see joining us last season Doyle in the transfer window but we now have this game against Burton Albion away so uh, let's try and get a good result here oh that looks so nice I like the look of that. Run, Arthur, Butterworth now, open. Oh, it's a good, good save by the keeper. But we're off to a good start here. And can we get anyone here? Oh, he's there, he's there. Oh, oh, I thought that was a goal. What can he do? He's all, oh, and he's still going, Simmons, oh. Nearly his first goal for the Bears. What a run through that was. Can we get this again onto uh, Arch's head? He's had one. Oh, not this time. Barbalio. Butterworth now. Butterworth. Oh, it's a four. So as well. Now Simmons. So Butterworth. So Simmons. <laughs> Playing it around here, Arthur. Oh, gets it through. What's a goal? Butterworth there with a the goal. What's a brilliant goal that was. Get in there, guys. Let's go. First goal this game. And we have deserved it. We have been all over them. And I must say, Simmons in the midfield has looked very, very nice. Very good. Making, you know, sort of filling in the gaps and just getting the ball ticking over. Very, very much liking. Lovely ball through. Sees the space, Butterworth, left foot, no miss in there. Love to see it. Daniel Butterworth doing well. Played 
two games now instead of Costi Asin got two goals. Good to see that is very nice and they're getting in a lot more. Now he plays it to Carvalho. Carvalho. Oh, should have done a bit more with that. But it's coming to half time here, guys. And oh, oh, he's lucky there because that was uh, quite a work through. But it's half time, can't complain. Very, very good performance by the team. Nice goals, could have had a couple more, but let's go and finish this off in the second half. Okay, guys, we're getting to the second half. A couple of players getting a bit tired, so we'll have to bring a couple of substitutes in the second half, but it's a good start. Back in, Carvalho plays it back again. Back to Butterworth. Butterworth now. Oh, just misses it. And not to be honest, guys, looks like I'm going to have to make a couple of substitutes. A few people looking very, very tired going into this second half. So, looking like we'll have to make a few, give them a few more minutes, and then uh, we'll see what we have to do. Simmons is going to have to come off because he looks absolutely shattered. Bring on Palatino. Bring on. To be honest, could bring on. Do it like that. And. Could we bring on Jones. I'll bring on Connor Wickham here for Butterworth, who's looking pretty tired as well. Let's start with that for the rest of this half. Now we're out. Are they now? Oh, it's not what I was trying to do at all. Just trying to defend this now at the end of this game. Push everyone forward. Oh, how did that get through? Oh, what was that by the game? But it looks like here we're going to finish this game up. Just do nothing silly, and that's a 1 0 win. And in the end, it was very, very tough at the end. They threw everyone at us. We should have finished this off before, but a 1 0 win we will take away. So, very nice result. Obviously, minus Kostias, but. His replacement did get the goal, so very nice to see. Okay, guys, so after that uh, tight 1 0 win, we are now top of the table, and now we hold room fourth. So, this is the last game we're going to play in this uh, episode before we get into the next month. So, I'm going to start with the first squad, Kostias back, obviously, and he is captain again, so it's good to see. Let's see how we get on with this team here. Hull are not going to be an easy side to play, but hopefully we can get the result we really need. Costi has six goals, top goal scorer still, even being out for those few games for his international duty, but hopefully he can get back on the score sheet again today. And we are at the bear pit for the first time in this episode, which is lovely to see the brand new bear pit this season. It looked absolutely stunning. Obviously bigger stadiums than we probably needed at the moment, but it looks very, very full. For that Costa, obviously fan favorite there. So let's get into that one and the whole city here. Let's go. Now Dembele. Now Costias sees the run of Abe. Abe now through. Abe with the space. Can he put this away? Yes, he does. It was a goal. And this one has been coming. This has been so difficult here. Crazy, crazy game. Oh, I've been so aggressive and attacking so hard and high pressing, but that's where they have got their downfall too much. And uh, Abe was just through on goal. And he is not missing them these days. It's a brilliant finish. And he's starting to become a massive, massive player for us. Roki Abe, fifth goal in eight matches. Very, very good. And 1-0 up. Let's try and make this more. Oh, it's a big block. Out to Sessignon. Oh, mate. And that has to... What has he done? 
absolutely clobbered Sessing on there. How did he get away with that? And he has come back to his yellow card. Awful, awful tackle. And looks like I'm going to have to bring Sessing on off, who has been injured here. Bringing on Williams. It's an awful tackle. What is he doing there? Horrible, horrible tackle. He gets the ball out. Now Dembele. Plays it through to Carvalho. Carvalho just cuts him through. Plays it through to Costias now. Costias. Oh, he's hit the post. Simmons. Again. The aggression. Costias does well. Oh, turns and it's good save. And another yellow card for them from that tackle from earlier. Absolutely horrible. Horrible, horrible play by them. Gonna try and get this into Costias's head. Does. Oh, Costias tries to overhead. Are they? Back to Simmons. Sees Dembele out there to Costias. Flying in. What a goal. Oh, what skill by Costias. What a finish to put that in the top. Oh, are flying in at us and they are getting nowhere near. We're just too skillful, too good for them. And that's a brilliant finish. Coming back from his international duty and getting another goal. Look at this. It's a lovely little move. Costias is so good at these little drag backs in the box. Just absolutely fools that whole defence. Brilliant finish. And that's what he does. That is what he does. Captain Costias now. 2 0 against Hull. Let's go. And that's half time now. What a, what a time to get that goal just before half time. And to be honest, it's been a very, very dirty game from them. And I can see them getting somebody sent off in this game before the end, the way they've been doing it. So uh, let's see what happens in the second half. Here we go. Let's get into this second half. And let's see if we can finish these guys off here. Simmons. Oh, lovely little move. Back into Simmons. Gonna hit it. Hits it. Oh, off the crossbar. Oh, and they back in it. Oh, so poor, so annoying. And we have conceded that goal out of nothing. They just threw everything at us. Got to defend better than that. That is poor, poor defending there. Really is. Missed the tackle, and our defence is nowhere. Pulled him out. And nothing to keep could do. That is two one. Let's try and not mess this one up now. Look at them press. Look at them. Now Dembele, Dembele's through, what a goal, what a finish that is, and the keeper, no chance, look at that, what a beautiful finish, and we have got straight back into this game, straight down the other end, what a ball, Simmons, there's a lovely weight with ball by Kostias, and don't know what the keeper is doing there, that is awful, absolutely awful, keepers just jump way too early there, and that is 3-1, now Dembele, they get the ball out. Back to and Patinho. See the run of Dembele. Rips it back into Costias. Costias now through. What a stroke. What an absolute rifle on his left foot. What a goal. 88th minute. Beautiful. And he is celebrating the That is a absolutely rocket of a strike on his left foot. Look at this. Dimbele does well. Flicks it back into him. Just run, rolls it across his body. And what a finish. And that just shows you how good this guy is at finishing. What a goal. And that is the final whistle, guys. 4-1. What a game. What a big, big game that was. Costias coming back into the squad after international duty. And picking up two goals. Showing why we miss him when he's not there brilliant to see let's get in to the next game
Okay guys, so as we get into these last few sim games against Cambridge and NK Dons, I just wanted to go ahead and show you what I have found in the transfer hub. You guys did ask me about trying to find Slatan's uh, regen, and I believe this Lucas Coulson would be his regen. 75 rated, it's the only guy I could find striker from Sweden so I think that might be the guy we are looking for only problem is he's worth 10 million pounds so it's on there and uh, we will keep an eye on him maybe trying to sign him at some point if he does happen to come up also I put Messi and Ronaldo on there just because I want to know when they retire and then look for their regens just thought I would give you a little update because you guys did ask about it and we now have Cambridge who are in 16th position here. Going to go ahead and do a, another quick sim match with the full team. Let's go. What can we get here? And we're going to get a 2-1 win. Butterworth and Abbe get in there. Kostias coming off Butterworth. Butterworth getting the winner in the 67th minute. It's good to see if Kostias doesn't get the goal. Butterworth's coming off the bench and getting them, which is very, very good. Okay guys, so we get into the last game of this episode against MK Dons, where we're going to do a quick sim, and here we go, what can we get, full team here, and nice and fit, and we get a 1-1 draw, that's it, that's not the result we wanted, but Dembele gets on the score sheet, not quite what we were expecting from that last game at home, but we continue with our good form. So we now have got 27 points, Burton just behind us with 22, and Kostias is fighting for that uh, golden boot again this season. But going into the next episode, we have button. We have got a few games here, which obviously I want to play a couple of them, definitely against Wigan, maybe Sunderland ones, maybe the Bolton game. But that is for next episode. But thank you guys for watching this. And uh, if you did like it, obviously hit a like and a subscribe. And obviously hit the notification bell so YouTube do let you know that I have posted. Jump in the Discord in the down below. And do leave a nice little comment with any January transfers you would like. Anything you'd like to see different. Or uh, any, any ideas on the... Or anything just saying about like the new cam border, the merch, and uh, obviously the membership. Like, anything you would like to see in that if you guys are interested. And for this episode, that is me. I'm Gamer Dad. Out. Peace.